Talking to Derek St. Holmes, who will be uh, appearing in concert Saturday, January 27th, Center in Somerset. Uh, first of all, Derek, I want to welcome you to the Lake Cumberland area. Don't know if you've been around here before, but uh, looking forward to your visit at the Center. And uh, yeah. tell us yeah. a little bit about uh, the, the show you'll be doing January 27th at the Center. Well, I, I think we're going to do a lot of uh, the Ted Nugent material that I sang, and um Quite a few of the things that I've co-written myself with um, Brad Whitford from Aerosmith, and um, those would be on the Whitford St. Holmes albums. We'll be doing some of that, and you know, maybe some, maybe some new stuff. We'll see, but uh, mainly, yeah, I'm just gonna slam down those Ted Nugent songs that I helped make famous. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about some of those Ted Nugent songs that that. Uh... Uh, you know, yeah. you're the voice of Ted Nugent. Ted, give us a little bit uh, more about that. Like, what? like, like the song "Stranglehold." I mean, people don't know that I I wrote the melody and and sang it. They think my voice is Ted's, and um, I just think that's funny. But um, you know, we'll be doing stuff like that. Hey, baby, uh, probably do free for all. Just with the doctor orders, sneak skin cowboys. A lot of stuff off the first couple albums but it's going to be loud and rocking so if you you know want to get mellow you can just turn around and get the <laughs> out of there <laughs> let me ask you this you know obviously uh, the ted digit stuff's in the 70s tell us a little bit about your career i think you came out of the detroit area i know a lot of yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot of yeah. uh, classic rockers from that area in that era yeah, when I was coming up, it was, um, you know, people like Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. It was Alice Cooper. It was Ted Nugent. It was the Stooges. It was the MC5. And uh, it was a band out of Ann Arbor, Michigan called the Rationals. And, you know, we just, we had a huge um, musical scene there. And we just, um, you know, we, we, we just thought to ourselves, we got to put a band together that just does our own material. So we did. It was a three-piece band straight out of high school called Scott. And we um, played everywhere in Michigan. And then some um, one of Ted's ex-tour agents came over and said, hey, you guys need to open up for Ted Nugent. And we said, well, sure. So we opened up for Ted Nugent about six, seven times. And then Ted just, I kept looking to the left, and I could see he was standing there watching me. And um, I'm not sure if he wanted to get a, a singer, a guitar player yet. I know he had a lot of stand-up singers, like a like a Rod Stewart kind of style. And That's hard to believe. Time. Yeah, it took a long time for him to, to go, you know what, let's pull the trigger on this and let's rehearse with this guy and see what he sounds like. We rehearsed for 15 minutes, and he stopped us all, and he goes, how many amplifiers do you want? <laughs> and I said, well, I'll take two. I guess that meant that I was in the band. So from then on out, we just started touring. That was around 74, and we played everywhere with everyone. I mean, I was, we were opening up for, uh, you know, guys like Deep Purple and Black Sabbath and all these bands that I used to be a big fan had pictures of them on my walls, you know. And then all of a sudden, a couple of years later, we're I'm in a band that's opening up for these guys. So little by little, you know, we just kept hitting the road and hitting the road and writing songs on the road. And we came up with that first album. And then, uh, you know, Epic Records came out to see us. They were flabbergasted. They said, man, I, we got to sign these guys. That was Tom Worman the producer, and I, I think Tom just put a book out um, about that and some of his other um, people that he's produced, but um, uh, that's kind of where it all started, you know, we just, I did all the singing, I mean, Ted was not a singer, you know, so what he, um, what he learned about singing, he, um, well, he got from me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> Looking forward to uh, a great show. Again, that's January 27th. It's Saturday night. Makes it even better. Yeah, and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you here. Yeah, so we're looking forward to rocking that town. So um, we'll see you soon. Hope, hope to see you. Okay, thanks a lot. Man, thank you so much.